Here's something I've always wanted to kind of share with people, and uh, it seems to get lost in the shuffle all the time. <laughs> you need to find a way to have happiness built into your life. I don't mean someone else making you happy. I don't mean finding the perfect partner. I mean you making yourself happy, whether that is through your job or the passions that you pursue or your hobbies, whatever it may be. The best way for you to gain a level of personal happiness and satisfaction is to help others. That sounds counterintuitive because you're giving away your energy to other people, but that's exactly the secret that most people will tell you that if you are looking to improve your own life, help others improve theirs. There are so many different charities, different organizations you can volunteer time with. You can be a big brother, or big sister. You can volunteer for Habitat for Humanity and build homes. You can do all kinds of different stuff. And you don't need to dig wells in the Congo uh, for the pygmies to, you know, to feel like you're really contributing, right? You can do something very simple in your own backyard. But whatever it is that you pursue in your own life, you cannot expect your job to check all the boxes to making you happy and fulfilled and feel like you're part of the bigger picture and things like that. In lots of cases, it just doesn't work that way. I know this from personal experience. I've been around for a little while and that's why I do public speaking and the videos and the blog and all of that stuff is I'm trying to share this information with those who are a little younger than I am and shorten your learning curve to figure some of the things out that I have just now come to the realization of. For me, I've been fortunate to have really enjoyed some of the jobs that I have in the past, but I, I, I don't I do my best not to identify with those jobs. I used to be a professional racquetball player and I was guilty of identifying myself in that fashion. And that, that was tough. When that ended, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know who I was. Every job I had since then, that was my job, but I was not identifying myself by my job title. I am Darren Shank and I do all of these things. I work for this company. I have this title, I fly fish, I coach the racquetball team, I write a blog, I do public speaking, I do videos that help people shorten their learning curve, etc., etc. There's no way that I want to be defined by one particular thing. And in my early in my life, I did that. And it was all consuming and it put a lot of pressure on that job. And that being my identity, when I would lose a match, I lost part of my identity. I didn't, but that's how I saw it. And that made that part of my life very, very difficult at times. I, I don't drink. I don't drink my problems away. But there was an awful lot of times at tournaments where I am eating a double fudge chocolate sundae on Friday night because I was already out of the tournament and I was drowning my sorrows in sugar instead of alcohol. A little healthier habit, but still not good, right? When you put that much emphasis on this is me and this is my job title and smushing them together, you're very vulnerable to having some real problems with your own identity, with your happiness, your satisfaction in life. So believe, believe me when I tell you, your job will probably not check all the boxes. So get a job, take care of your finances, do some things on the side to help others, and that will lead you to a much happier life. As always, I wish you luck with your endeavors. If I can help, please reach out to me through my website or shoot me an email or go to my LinkedIn page and shoot me a message there. They're all Darren at DarrenChatter.com or just Darren Chatter. You can find me that way. I don't have all the answers, but you're welcome to the ones I have. Good luck.